Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by for another video and I hope everyone's well today. So we are going to personalize some bamboo ink pens and we're going to cut the template out of some cardboard. Uh, I've made measurements of the pen and uh, here's what that looks like. So a bunch of scribbling, but it helps me if, uh, if I do that before I start a project, at least have an idea of what it's supposed to look like, even if it's not pretty. Uh, and I'll put links to this caliper and the pins down in the description if you uh, want to go check those out. So we're just going to start with a square and draw out a rectangle. Click our selector tool. And remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. Push down and move the entire canvas around. And I know I say that a lot, but I always remember uh, first getting my laser and uh, trying to find out how to do something. And it just wasn't that easy. So hopefully it'll help someone out. Uh, so we want to make this the full length of the pen, which is 140.37. And here it's width just because of orientation. Make sure your lock is off. So 140.37 and the width, which is 11.1. .1. And then we need to account for the, the clip. So we'll draw out another rectangle. Hit the selector tool. And this will be... 53.35 and 15.43 and my last video um, I covered um, alignment tools that Lightburn added in version 1.5 and those are pretty handy so with this piece selected you can push the Alt key, grab this corner. You can see the lines pop up, and they are really helpful. We just want to pop it in that corner right there. And even the snap tool uh, with this update was made stickier, so it'll snap from further away. Uh, and if you don't have snap enabled, go up to settings and just look and make sure snap to object, snap to grid is on and you will be okay. All right, so we want to, this will be a union. Uh, we're working with two objects. We could use weld, because weld can work with multiple objects. We're gonna select both of those, go up to tools, down to Boolean Assistant, and I've got a video on this as well, and I'll put a link down in the description for it. But you can scroll over your options and see what the result would be from any of these. So we want union. And now we need to lay out the printable area of the pen. So we're going to start with another square. We're going to start in this corner and draw out basically what we had for the first one. Let me Control Z and do that again so it'll cover the entire area right there. And that's so we'll be able to center uh, the writing that we put on it, the text we put on it. And we are going to make that a tool. Uh, if we tried to center on this entire piece, then this little the, the clip part would throw us off. So now we want to grab another square, draw it out, hit the selector tool, and the printable area is 90 by 6.5. Doesn't mean you have to use it all, but you want to know where it is uh, so you can get it right the first time. So you want to drag that down in there, and when you're centering, always select the piece that you want to move, select it first, shift, and select the tool we created, 
and then click center and we're good uh, so we want to grab another one and we're just going to put a tool on the outer edge to get some separation between the pins and that works fine Then we can grab everything in the center group it together and you can group up top or you can right click and group here and now we want to center on this other tool so select what we just grouped together shift select the outer tool and hit bullseye now we can group everything together and we can duplicate with control D pull one out control D again and pull one out we're just going to do three but of course you could multiply this and make as many as your laser bed can handle so we're going to select one push our alt key you get our guidelines and then we can pop it right into place without a lot of guesswork that is a really handy tool and I've said it before the light burn folks got some real big brains over there and they keep coming out with these updates that are really helpful okay so we're just going to group all this together and we will cut out our template and then we will come back and turn this uh, cutout portion into a tool as well. And then we will put our text in this area, and that'll be the only part that will actually go on the pen. Uh, because all of the tools have no output. Okay, before we go to the laser and cut this uh, template out, we want to do one other thing. We're going to go to the edge here and grab a draggable line and we're going to lock this in place we want to go up top and do the same thing come down and this is one of those features I mentioned was available in um, version 1.5 and again I'll drop a video down in the description so you can check it out uh, once once you get those pulled out you can go to your shape properties tab and if you don't have that, go up to Window, down to Shape Properties, and make sure it's checked. And then you can swipe over the line, and you'll see the lock pop up over here on the right. You can turn that on. It'll lock it in place. Then you can go to the other one and turn it on as well. Now that's locked in place, and you won't have to worry about it moving uh, once you cut your template. And then I believe you can lock this too. You can lock those shapes into it. And it shouldn't move. Let me... Nope, it's good. You can see the crosses in the corners. So it's all locked into your lines. At least I hope so. Uh, we'll find out. So we can cut this template. And then we'll come back and uh, add our text to it. Uh, so let me get to the laser. We'll set that up. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're all set up. So if you lock your piece of cardboard down to the laser bed, uh, you can just keep cranking pins out. And uh, you won't have to worry about them moving and throwing anything off. Okay, we'll send the code on over. Cut this template out. Okay, let's jump back in the light burn and get our text written out. Okay, so we have our uh, template cut. So now we need to select everything here because we got to go over and unlock it to be able to go down and turn that into a tool. So now everything's a tool. We can select it all again lock it back and to center our text we could uh, we would have to go 
through and ungroup everything to be able to use this piece here. But what we'll do is just draw another one. Just grab a square. Draw it out. It can be the full length or the the shorter length. But uh, with if you draw the full length, then you'll be able to select it for centering. Uh, we'll just make that a different color to make it easier to see. And we'll control D to duplicate it. Pull one down here. Do it again. Pull one down here. And with snap on, it, uh, it gets it to the proper place. Usually, anyway. Okay, so with those there, grab your text tool. And Academy Engraved uh, works best uh, for lettering on bamboo. Uh, you can use line instead of fill, and it works out good. So we're going to make this all caps. John's Auto Shop. And hit your selector tool. You can pull this over, keep it selected, shift and select your green line, and then hit bullseye. And you're good. We'll duplicate this. I don't know what I just done. We'll control Z. And do it again. And then do it again. And we'll select it. Shift and center. Select. Shift. And center. And I think we're okay unless there's two of them up there. Yep, there is. Sometimes when you use uh, duplicate, you you got to be sure. If it looks a little darker than it should, it's probably because there's another uh, layer there that folks like me that don't really know what they're doing uh, can create. Okay, so now you can either turn this line off or... Uh, delete it so I'm just gonna delete it we don't need it no more delete delete and then I believe we can add these to the lock Yep, they're added to the lock. You can see the cross corners here. And let's go see what we've got it set for. That is not what we want. So let's we'll see if we can change that. Nope, i got to unlock it to do it. See, folks, y'all can watch me. Uh, make mistakes and you won't have to make some of the same ones uh, but making mistakes uh, certainly helps me learn I think that is the one we want right there and we will go 30% power is what I'm trying to get to. There we go. And again, this is a line, but if you use uh, Academy, it looks like it's engraved. Okay, well, let's uh, jump back over to the laser. 
And when we select, it'll only be these that uh, come out. And to make sure you've got them all selected, uh, select one, shift, select the next, shift, and select the next. Okay, folks, let's jump in the laser. Be right back. Okay, folks, we will send the code on over, and uh, hopefully I've got some good settings. I couldn't find the last ones I had, so this is kind of a test. If we mess one up, I'll stop it, and we will start over. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, let me clean these up a little bit, and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, finished product. Okay, well, here's the pins all finished up. The uh, Academy engraved font works really well as a line. You don't have to do a fill. So I hope the video was helpful. Hope you learned something. Uh, I'll drop links to the other videos I mentioned. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be glad to help out any way I can. I really appreciate you folks taking time to watch. Uh, just check back often for new videos. Take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.